Welcome to this new tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, I will show you how to flood uh, in MATLAB, and I will also um, show you how to customize your flood in MATLAB. So let's start with MATLAB. I have already opened MATLAB, so let me open from here. So this is the interface of MATLAB. Here you see the command window, the workspace the current folder or current directory and this is the bar quick access bar and these are the different features in MATLAB so here I will open a script file and here I will code my plotting data and then I will plot a data and then I will show you how to customize your plot so this is very simple so type here edit in the command window or you can also open a script file from here so let me do this by the command so here you see the editor or the script file is open so here start uh, typing your file here you can uh, code your data for any type of plot maybe 2d or 3d or maybe a sine curve or cause or any other curve I will uh, do my coding for the parabola for example, my x data is from minus 6 to plus 6 with the steep size of 0.01. A smaller is your steep size, your curve, your, your curve will be more smooth. So let me do this by from minus 6 to plus 6 and here enter the semicolon which actually stops your command and let the y value is a parabola very simple x square and square so here i type my x and y value and let's do this now for plotting click the command plot x comma y and you can also uh, change your uh, style of plotting let me do it by simple so here you um, plot this and now run your uh, code so click on the run first your file will be saved i want it to save, uh, save in this folder let me name is parabola Save it in the E folder. So click on save and now add to the path and to the current directory. Here you see this is uh, now the C folder is your current directory. So make it E. So add to the path. Now your plot will be completed. So here you see your plot of uh, parabola. Here you see this is a simple plot, there is no title, no title to your axis and uh, the value of uh, the range of x uh, axis and the y axis are not like uh, lo looking good. So you can also change them. So you can change it from the command window as well as from your coding. So let's do it by the command window. So for the uh, labeling the axis is uh, right x label so this is part the x axis and I name it as uh, for example uh, x data you can name it uh, different as well so here is the labeling for x axis and for the uh, y axis Also name your x axis as uh, FCSA. So here, so now check your plot. So your uh, y and x axis are labeled now. You can also give a title to your plot as well. 
so click here title is parabola you can name a different as well so now check the your plot so a title is given to your plot as parabola you can also do the same from your coding here so let me do this now by coding now copy this put here as x and name it as epsisa now and name your y axis here click on y is ordinate so now first uh, close your first one plot you can do this by close uh, command as well so now run your file so here click on the run so here you see the uh, uh, different uh, customization as the title is provided to your plot and as well as the labeling to your x and y axis as well now i will show you how to increase the range of your x or uh, simply change the ranges of your axis so here your uh, x axis is range from minus 6 to uh, plus 6 and your y axis from 0 to 40 so let me change this so for this uh, type the command axis and here uh, give a uh, four element vector so the first one show you the, the first two show your uh, the range of your x axis and the last two show the range of your y axis so the for x axis let me do this minus 10 and plus 10 and for y axis uh, minus 5 to 45 now your uh, the range of your axis will be changed so this is a simple four element vectors now check the plot let first run it we forgot to run so now you see that the um, range of your axis is changed from minus 10 to 10 and for y minus 5 to 45 so this was a simple trick you can also uh, uh, on your, the grid on your plot so do this by grid command so here type grid uh, on or simple if you type grid uh, the, this is also ok so now run it you will see the grids on your uh, title on your graph so here the grids are now visible you see just like a graph graph paper here you see your plot you can also change the color of your plot and you can also uh, provide a legend to your graph as well so let me try this so first uh, provide with a legend so type legend and uh, name it as uh, parabola let's parabola 1 and click enter and now run you will see your graph with a legend so here you see the legend we use the legend when we have a different plot on the same uh, page in this case we have only one page uh, one plot on this page but we, we you can also make uh, many plots on the same uh, on the same page so let me try this i want to make another plot on this for this uh, you should uh, type the command hold on so that your uh, first uh, graph will be hold hold on and then type another uh, graph uh, this time i want to uh, graph assign uh, graph uh, and keep the x value as the same so let me uh, put uh, y1 this time because we have y this so we will try with a different name here so y sign of x 
you can also give a multiple here so let me 3 multiply by so now plot x with y1 so here you will see another graph on the same page so click enter and then run so let's see the plot now here you see the sign plot is also provided to your page so now if you provide here a legend so here you will see um, the first is parabola which have a um, blue color and with the red legend is a sign curve so let's do this legend So here I tried to provide a legend to our plot but uh, I was unable to do this so let uh, me do this by uh, help command of MATLAB. So go to the command window and type here help legend. So here uh, you have seen that how legends are provided to uh, graphs when you uh, want to uh, graph to simultaneously so go here and find out here so here you see that uh, many plots are drawn at once and the legend are provided with this system uh, legend and then uh, the first graph and then the second third and so on so we will try through this method so go back to the editor and type here so legends and let me edit this this and then here this and this so our first function is parabola and the secret one is assign function so now run your file there is an error so we will fix this so here the problem with, uh, with this extra is here we uh, write legends instead of legend so remove the s now run your file and let's type this to debug and click continue so now your file is run now so now see your file here you see the legends are uh, provided to your plot so this was a simple trick now you can also change the style of your color the, the color of your plot and also you can change the style you may uh, make this as a dotted line as well or static line as well so let's try this so from here uh, go to the plot one and here try I want it to be make from a plus sign and I want the color of this is green so now run see the second plot so here you see these are very congested points so it make is a board line here the plus signs are overlap with one another so it look as uh, very intense or a bold line let me also try to change the first plot so here change the first plot and go to the plot one and here i want the color as magenta and make it dotted and magenta type for this is in now run and see the change so this is magenta color your parabola is changed to magenta and here you see this the, these legends are not changes now this can uh, you can change this 
to the new uh, position there you can make the parabola as magenta color and the sign function is a uh, green so let's check this here you can make your legend according to the new plot so here first uh, turn up the legend by clicking on the legend up so here now you will see your plot without legend and now turn on the legend legend on so click on the run and now you will see your file with legend but it is named as on let me fix this now you need not these to so remove this and now run so here you see the updated legend of your plot with the parabola as a dotted and with this magenta color and the sign function with the plus sign and with this green color so this was a little bit introduction to the plotting in MATLAB so MATLAB is very powerful to plot different type of function maybe 3d or maybe a contour graph or you can also plot bar graph as well so here i show you how to customize your graph so thank you for watching stay blessed goodbye